All right, we're back and play it forward with Octavio Machado, writer, director, Diana. Octavio, welcome to the show. Thanks for being here, man. Thank you, man. It's a pleasure. Pleasure for me to be here. Cool. I'm happy to have you. Um, Diana, it's a beautifully shot um, story about a young love affair, ultimately a breakup and poetic montage, a lot of very i guess the imagery you know the imagery is really striking and the language is really striking and the nature um elements are really striking that come in with this kind of backdrop um on the ocean and with the actors what was the inspiration in the kernel that started you on this path with diana yeah, um, Diana uh, came to life uh, when I, it was some years ago already, and I had this uh, feeling and motivation of doing something that was not based on uh, just my idea, and I wanted to create something with, uh, so with a feminine tone somehow that uh, there was something that I was looking for uh, to uh, to create a piece that had this voice that was not from a man, and I decided to to do that in uh, to partner with a, with a friend that is also an actor, an actress. That her name is Diana, as well. Mm -hmm. That's why the the film is called Diana. And she had this, this text that she had written uh, and she had her reasons and uh, it was a, a special and very personal moment for her when she, when she did that and we talked a lot about it. Uh, and when I read it, uh, we talked about doing something together and she came with this uh, after we talked and I started to look for um, a visual background for the to, for creating an atmosphere for that and it really became like a visual poem i guess you know like it's it's more like that than a regular narrative as you can yeah. uh, who watched the film can uh, will have that that feeling right away and uh, so the the i guess the inspiration for that came from the from the from this text, from this will of doing something that was not so natural uh, of mine. It was not only my creation. Uh, I wanted to, to partner, uh, to do something that was unexpected and to be open to uh, new feelings and, and approaches uh, that came from someone else, someone else that I decided to, to be a woman and I wanted to explore that. Well, bit. that's that's really cool. Um, you know, you definitely captured the feminine tone, um, and that imagery is gorgeous. Uh, what what was it that was going on in your life at the time that made you want to explore or embody um, this feminine world? Yeah. I don't, I, I don't know if there is one specific answer for that, but I guess uh, the whole, the whole situation in, uh, of, of life and, and uh, I see, I, I direct lots of um, advertising in uh, spots, you know, this is a world that is surrounded by men, <clears throat> uh, a lot of men, and of course, it's uh, filled with women, uh, but uh, it's always uh, something that we talked a lot with friends and uh, that it's impressive how women are around all the time and uh, because we are in a world made of men and women. So, of course, and that it's natural to be um, with women everywhere. And I uh, always felt really uh, 
comfortable and it was always very natural for me to be uh, among women and uh, I never uh, I always try to to be uh, one person whichever is the person that I'm talking to but I see that that's not common uh, and that's not uh, so natural in the world unfortunately and of course I'm, I'm telling something that is not a secret or um, anything that I'm not inventing anything but uh, it's not news uh, but this was something that I had been talking to lots of, of women friends and my wife and uh, family uh, about this this space and how things are to to women to make their, their voices come uh stronger in a, in a more natural way and it was uh for me it was very always very impressive how 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 these things happen still happen you know and be, be, first be, first why the things happen and now why the things still happen and maybe that's why i came with this and also because i wanted to work with a perspective that was different from mine uh, that I shared, of course, uh, the, the feelings that needed to be shared somehow for me to, to be able to, to do something that made, made sense uh, for her too, the, to Diana that, that was who, who created the text. And uh, we, had, uh, we had a lot of talks about that uh, message that she she wrote and the message that I wanted to pass with the, the script and you know, everything that I created uh, based on it. So she was the co-writer. Yeah, yeah, she's the okay. co-writer. And uh, when I she's the she's the writer of the text, you know, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. her, it's her text and it's my script based mm. on a text and a voiceover that she. I there see. is Got the it. voiceover in the film was written by Got Diana it. Herzog. Got it. it was this actress and friend. Got it. Uh, so she's a co-writer, and I wrote the, the the story and everything that is in the film Got it. was created by me based on Got it. her. It wasn't written to become a film. Right. It was a text that she had with her for a long time already, and it was just something that she had for her because she writes mm -hmm. and but she didn't think about doing a film with right. this before we cool. talked about it yeah. and that was it and then when we saw that we could uh, share the same feelings uh, or some of the same feelings and we understood that we could reach a place that was um that we both thought that was beautiful and connected to the feeling of she wanted to bring with the text. Then we decided to go on and, and I created this whole stuff. And the, the, the process was very uh, uh, collaborative with her and with the whole crew, mainly with the DOP, the Adolfo Veloso, that's great DOP in, we had a lot of it, it became like it was kind of a collage of uh -huh. um, visual references that i brought uh and so it's not only me then there's leticia too that is the production designer that worked a lot with me in that and we all together brought a lot of stuff and made this this big puzzle work together in the in the short do you remember what you're going to say before I, I interjected and cut you off? No, yes, I, I put no. in the in the you, end you of got this. It. Uh, All right. Yeah, yeah. It's All right. Yeah. So, um, the message, you know, getting to the message. Um, can you talk about the message of the movie as it is now, or as you guys were writing it, and what it is now? Yeah, yeah. I, I think that the the main message there is about overcoming. Like it's about the the way that you you understand. Um, you, sometimes you you have to to understand that you must 
be enough for you to live. <laughs> and I think that this is the main thing because in the film, that's that's what happens in the, this relationship that was like fire, you know, it was something that was really uh, intense for both. And sometimes we can, sing, we can think that one or the other was more connected to the other, but we see that both of them need to, um, deconstruct somehow to keep their their own ways uh, in life, you know, like he has this uh, more wild uh, <laughs> um, feeling she and she was more connected. Maybe she was having a, a different relation than he was and he, because he, he knew that this would be something intense, but he would go away. She maybe didn't know that. And she had to face this her way and he had to face this his way. So uh, I think that the final message is that it, love is, is, that, is that, you know, like you, in the end, you're going to be with yourself. You're going to bring everything that was beautiful or not with you, but uh, to overcome and to to be able to follow your life, to to go on with your life, you need to to believe you <laughs> uh, and to understand who you are, to to take the next step. You know, uh, I think that I try to. There are two two different moments in in the film that I think that for me are keys uh, for the for both characters. That is, that, that are the moments that they they cry. Um, in a more uh, like it, it is you you feel it's really deep when he goes uh, running and falls in the sand on the beach and he is there crying and understand that he needs that like uh, moment to make this pass and to be able to follow uh, to go on with his life and uh, and for her I guess there is this moment too in the nature, in the same space. I wanted to bring that space that all, all fallen apart, like a lot of houses down and broken. And uh, it's really a metaphor of what they, they are feeling. And uh, she needed that crying too, to breathe and understand that she had to go on by herself. So I don't know, uh, I think that the message is this, and I try to to bring this in a more um, poet, the, the most poetic way that I could in, in the film. You know? It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's beautiful message. Thanks, man. It's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> um, thank you. So the last question is: Since making the movie, how have you been changed as a person or a filmmaker? <laughs> mm. Yeah, it's, um, it's something that really uh, that really changed me as, as a person, mainly because uh, in a way, a person and filmmaker together, because it made me see the filmmaking in, uh, it made me live the filmmaking in a way I had never lived before. And uh, the, the way that the whole crew and my relationship with the actors and how the the how the, the the connections were strong to make something that everybody believed was something uh, nice to 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 gain life. Uh, it was something that changed me a lot. In fact, more than the the message of the film or even the script or something like that. I, I'm talking now personally that it was something that made me understand what people always said about the, the magic of the filmmaking process, you know? Like when you go deep in, in an idea and you bring people together that believe in the same thing and go, go on all together to do their best. And we, we were a part like of the world somehow. We were in a place that was very uh, small and there was nobody there. It was uh, very empty and we lived that in a very intense way. 
the rehearsals before with the actors and for us to find these connections. We, we created these characters uh, very deeply. They had like uh, their own uh, music playlists. They had like, I wrote an, a, a poem for, the, uh, for each one that I sent to them and they sent a lot of stuff to me. We are, we became really good friends after that and we didn't know um, each other before with the actors and me, the actors and actress. And with the whole crew was the same. Like, so I think that that's uh, the main stuff for me. And it, it's nice to see that, uh, of course, I, I understand that I had an opportunity to work with really special and talented people that, and, and even gear, because I was uh, sponsored somehow uh for by my by the the production company i was uh working with advertising at the time that was think film so we had a lot of things to to access in a sometimes easier way than people that are struggling to get their their stuff to make the films in the, the independent filmmaking world but in the same way i understood that you had to be like as a director, as a lead role. If you lose the torch, everybody will fall apart together. So independently, if we had the structure or not, making the the thing uh, go on in a way that was positive and everybody kept believing, could keep believing on it, is something that uh, I think it, it didn't depend on it like it had nothing to do with the structure or anything it was about people the people who were doing this and uh, and willing to to tell the story and involve it with it so i mean it yeah. sounds like you're, you're saying is you're you know deeply enriched by the collaborative experience and of course. The connections um and sort of forming this world around this experience that everybody was a part of and connecting around that. Octavio Machado, writer, director, Diana, great job. Thank you so much. <laughs> I really appreciate you sharing with us today. Thank you, mate. Thank you. That was really, really nice. It was a pleasure. I appreciate it. Um, all right. Well, I'll talk to you later. We'll keep in touch. It was great to meet you. Sure. Okay. Thank Bye-bye. you. Congrats for the work. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Too. Bye.